Hey everyone, I'm Flo, and in this video, I'll show you how to set up a fully functioning cookie consent banner powered by Google Tag Manager. Let's take a look at our project. Here, we have a documentation website with a sidebar on the left and a content section on the right. We want our cookie banner to show up on the entire website, so it's smart to pick a component that is already set up on every page. In our case, that is the sidebar component. Let's add the component from the insert menu. We'll first drop it on the canvas so that we can customize it. To make it work with Google Tag Manager, we need a container ID, but we'll set that up later. Here, you can see that preview is enabled by default. This makes it easy to tweak the look and feel of the banner. Turning off preview will show what the component will actually look like on your page. Currently, it will show as a trigger that allows your users to open up the banner. Let's tweak the way the trigger looks so that it feels at home in the sidebar. We'll give it a different font family. Update the weight. We'll use the same size as the sidebar and then we can just pick a color. That's better. Now we'll drop it into the sidebar so that it's part of our page. And let's publish this so that we can check it out in the browser. Now, when we load our page, the cookie banner automatically shows up because we haven't given any consent yet. And when we switch to another page, it will stay put until we dismiss it. There are times where you don't want to trigger at all and only want to show the cookie banner when the visitor visits your site for the first time. For those cases, you can set the trigger type to none and then if we take a look in the preview, you can see that it is completely hidden. You can even set the opacity to zero and it would still work. For this demo, we do want a trigger. So let's revert the trigger type to text. I'll drag the component out of the sidebar and enable preview so that we can customize it further. We can control the component's behavior for the EU and the rest of the world specifically. For most of the world, a simple banner that lets users know you're using cookies is enough. For the EU, you might want to go for something more elaborate. Toggling between EU and world will show the corresponding banner on the canvas. For each region, we can control the types of choices a user has. We can use a different copy, we can add a link to our cookie policy, set the default consent, or render a blocking backdrop behind our banner. There are three different types of choices you can give users. None which will render a simple notice banner with a confirmation button and will auto accept cookies. Accept reject, giving an all or nothing choice or customizable, offering four different consent options. With customizable selected, we can see an additional options prop. If we open this up, we can control the text or the look and feel of the options that you see when you click the customize button. Let's click preview so we can see it on the canvas. You can tweak the copy of each option so you can be as explicit as you want. Let's first tweak the general look and feel of the banner. So let's close this up for a bit and focus on the banner and buttons props. Here you can see that we have full control over positioning, width, padding and layout. But let's first focus on tweaking our style. I'll speed it up for a bit so you can see in real time how I'm tweaking this component. I'm trying to use color variables as much as possible so that we have automatic support for dark mode. And here I'm replacing the border with this shadow to make it pop a little bit. Next, we're opening up our buttons prop where we control the primary button and the secondary button. And we also have full control over all the labels that are being used in the banner. And finally, we enable preview for our options so that we can tweak them and also make them fit into our design. I think we're done. So let's disable preview mode, drop it back into our sidebar and hit publish. When we open up the browser, you can see that the banner now perfectly fits our design. And we can set four different levels of consent with the customize button. Now let's switch over to Google Tag Manager so that we can set it up on that side. I have a brand new container 
So let's first enable consent mode. If we go into the admin settings and then container settings, we can simply enable consent overview. Done. Next, let's set up our first tag. We'll set up a tag for Google Analytics because the Google tags are the easiest to set up. I'll paste in my analytics ID, then I'll go into consent settings and you can see that automatically the Google tag looks for certain consent and without it, it will only send anonymous pings to Google Analytics. We'll finish up this tag by making it trigger on every page. Then we'll hit save and we're done. We can also fire custom tags based on consent. To do this, we can simply create a new tag. We can select any service that we want, or in this case, we can fire some custom HTML. Then we open up the consent settings again. And now we can simply say what kind of consent we need before we want to fire this tag. In this case, I'm only looking for a consent for ad storage, but you can also select multiple so that they all have to be true before this tag fires. And again, we'll make this one trigger on all pages. We'll save this one as well. And let's take a look at what we have. There is a Google Analytics tag, which will always fire but will adjust its behavior based on given consent. And we have a custom tag that will only fire if ad storage consent has been given. We're good to go. Let's publish this container so that we can use it in our site. The last thing we need to connect it to our component is the container ID. Let's copy it over. We can simply paste it in the properties panel and we're done. Now let's update our site so that we can check if everything is wired up correctly. Google Tag Manager offers some great tools to track what's happening on your site. If you go into Tag Manager and then click the preview button, this will open up the Tag Assistant. The Tag Assistant shows you everything that Google Tag Manager is doing on your site and everything that is not. For example, in the summary here, we can see that the Google Analytics tag has been fired and our custom marketing tag has not been fired because we haven't given the proper consent yet. In the sidebar, we can see all the events that Google Tag Manager is firing. The one that we need to keep track of is consent, which is the first one in this case. As this is the first step, you can see that none of the tags have been fired yet. We're first setting the default consent and then Tag Manager will figure out which tags need to be fired. Let's check out what happens when we update the consent in the cookie banner. Hit Customize, and we'll just enable Analytics. We'll hit Save, and on the right, you can see that a new consent event has been fired. And in this event, you can see that we have given consent for Analytics storage. That means that the Google Analytics tag will go back to its default behavior and will track everything. Now let's make our custom tag fire. We'll open up the cookie banner again and we'll enable marketing. Under the hood, this maps to the ad storage consent in Google. And you can see that that is now granted. If we now reload the page, our marketing tag fires and you can see the alert that we have just added to Google Tag Manager. The cookie banner component allows you to connect Framer to Google Tag Manager, and this is a powerful setup. In Framer, you can set up a beautiful cookie banner to collect consent from your visitors. And in Tag Manager, you can fully control the behavior of your site. We hope that this will make dealing with cookies a lot easier. Thank you for watching.